Welcome back, everybody. For the second match in this World Women's Junior Squash Teams final between Egypt and Malaysia. We have on the right side of the court Andrea Lee representing Malaysia, who uh, had a, an interesting uh, individual event. Actually, going out in the last eight with a really good performance, though, uh, playing the person on the left, Rowan Rita Arabi. Uh, but uh, just going down 11 6 in the fifth, an extremely tight match in the individuals' event. So, uh, Rowan will know that uh, this girl on her right is not to be uh, taken lightly. Half so, and of course, Rowan herself. Going for a triple here uh, today, so winner of the individual. If uh, Egypt could secure the uh, team's event, uh, that would give her a double. And uh, it's also, I gather, her birthday today. So happy birthday to Rowan. It'd be a nice, uh, nice birthday present, wouldn't it, Robbie? It would indeed, Dave. Couldn't think of a much better one. No, I can't think actually of anything better. <laughs> But uh, this promises to be a fantastic matchup, and obviously with Egypt um, going ahead in that last match with the number one strings playing out a very tense four set game uh, with Mami for Egypt coming through 11 9 in the fifth. It really sets up this match nicely. In the fourth there, Dave. Sorry, in the fourth, yep. The. Uh, it's been a fantastic week uh, this week here. And uh, we've had uh, around about 1,200 juniors or so in, as well as part of a legacy program for this event. And uh, I know that some of the players have been in and spoke to them and uh, uh, have sort of done their part to help promote squash. It's very noticeable that uh, from the feedback we've been getting from uh, locals here that uh, Malaysians and the Egyptians have really endeared themselves to the New Zealand population. The girls have been fantastic advocates for their country. Be very proud of how they've uh, held themselves here at this event. And of course, this event wouldn't take place without uh, our key supporters, the uh, gold partners, Craig's investment partners, who look after around 12 billion worth of client funds under management. We have 17 branches around the North and South Island of New Zealand. The University of Waikato, one of the top universities uh, here in uh, New Zealand. And uh, Karis Corporation, who's uh, a fantastic uh, reputation in the property development sphere. Time. It's uh, one of the regional leaders in the Bay of Plenty and uh, is uh, been a fantastic supporter of sport uh, locally as well uh, with the uh, High Performance Centre. So uh, Egypt, uh, though they got to this this final by beating Giant Killers Germany in the quarterfinals, the tenth seeds, uh, three love, and then uh, beating the fourth seeds Hong Kong China, two love in the semi-final. From Malaysia, the the finals they beat the host nation New Zealand but uh, without a, a little bit of a fight there from New Zealand uh, and in the semi-finals the Malaysians beat England to love last night in quite a quite a tight tense battle there so we have the uh, individual world champion back onto court wearing the knee bandage today it may be because uh, Sometimes it's not as sinister as you might think. Sometimes they might be carrying a little bit of a cut on the knee and they don't want to open that up. So that's why they sometimes you might see them wearing a knee bandage. But, uh, WSF Women's World Junior also see Andrew Lee's got a little bit of tape on as well. Final string two match. So we're ready to get underway. Rowan, Rita, Arabi, the second Egypt string match. The referees for this Asia. match are Turnbull. Nathan Turnbull. Australia and Carson of New Zealand and Yogi Singh 
of India. So we've got the uh, left-hander, right-hander contrast obviously going on here. Which we'll uh, see has probably seen a bit more ball down Andrew Lee's backhand and Arabi's forehand. It's a beautiful boast to open up with, eh? Two, one. And we saw that uh, to good effect in the early rounds and individual event. Out. Uh, Ball's out. Yeah, just questioning it, but Three, one. I think it was out. Yeah, it's a bit tricky to, <laughs> to see sometimes from uh, up there, the white ball and the yellow line. Oh, oh, yeah. Zarabi so just pulls that ball out of the air. Four, one. Absolutely stone dead in the cross court volley neck. Stroke to Egypt. Andrea's got to uh, settle down, uh, well, immediately, Dave. She's, yes. uh, she's got to find her length, she's got to settle down. We get a rubby away from that centre line, hard out. That's a lovely boast. Two in a row. The second Stand one. Two, five. Really stretching a rubby out. Mm. Yep, because if uh, Andrea doesn't, and she doesn't sort of settle into things, before you know it, that first game will be gone Stand and. Uh, and that could be crucial. Stroke to Egypt. So the world champion not hanging around here in this second match. Putting pressure on that backhand. Eight, two. Since Robbie Lee's a little frustrated with the uh, start of this match, she hasn't sort of allowed herself to settle. And no, she hasn't. And it's, um, in there yet. You know, she's on a um, massive Nine, stage two. here with a massive opportunity, and uh, you know she's she's got to get it sorted, uh, as we say, ASAP. And that's good. Nice length. By the and flat kill. Three, That's beautiful. That's a lovely drop. And out. So much ball movement there. Rabi uses the boast oh. a lot. She really uses the boast. It's, uh, it's a few uh, quick exchanges around the front. It's game ball for Egypt to take a uh, one love lead in this Four, second uh, match. Game ball. Egypt. Yep, so is. stroke to Egypt there. Individual world champion. Egypt. Egypt Showing her form. Taking the first game. We'll be back soon for the second.
you get to a stage where you want your board custom made, just for you. Investments are no different. And for that, you need a partner. Back with us for this second game. The uh, birthday girl Arabi uh, certainly uh, took all the gifts that she was given in that game by <laughs> Andrea Lee. She did indeed, Dave. I think uh, she's playing uh, played that first game with absolute total confidence, moving the ball at will positively. Andrew uh, Lee's going to have to come up with Egypt something to One stop this to what seems to be like a runaway train. Oh, absolutely. I mean, um, Arabi's presence oh. on court was, uh, has just been fantastic. She's just dominated from, uh, from the start. Stroke to Egypt. Yep, Andrea, she's, she's really got to, to spark herself up here, Dave. She's got to fire up. Otherwise, it's going to be a long day at the office. That's a great yeah. shot. Egyptian just yeah. maybe starting to go the other oh, side over there, so yeah. not getting let. Like we said, they had a fantastic match here in the individual event. Uh, since the Egyptians probably in this tie would be one. thinking that uh, they'd be confident at number three, the ones and twos, and you were going to be incredibly tight. So a win by Hamami may have may feel as if it's taken a little pressure off uh, Arabi. She doesn't look like she's playing with any. No. Not with a length like that off the volley, no. <laughs> flat volley. Just really overcutting that one. Oh, that's bread and butter. Yeah, she's shooting at will at the moment. Five, one. Ladies and gentlemen, try and keep quiet when they're about to serve, please. <laughs> the crowd apologising to the referee. <laughs> got to say they've been absolutely fantastic well, they have yeah so the, uh, <laughs> all the support for all the teams and oh that skill here Dave <laughs> particularly the Egyptian team with drums and tambourines and they've been absolutely brilliant and again uh, Lee leaving the ball in the middle of the court yep. which just Seven, cannot be done one. with any of this Egyptian team let alone the world champion Look, I think um, Malaysian coach Andrew Cross, he's, he's going to have to have a, a good stern word to Andrea after the set. Eight, I mean, one. this is going way too quick. She's got to make Arabi sort of work for the points and uh, well at the moment, it is he's just too through. easy. Yep. Too easy. Nine, one. Racing through to 9-1. In under five minutes here. Opening after opening, Dave. You know, Andrea's really got to take it upon herself to start to get some structure in there. And we know she, from some of her play earlier in the week that she's very, very capable. And out. We do. 2-10. Game ball.
It's a lovely shot. Three ten game ball. Yeah, I think even at the end of this game here, you know, she's, it's a long way back, but if she can take uh, some positives out of the very end of the game and, and put it into the start of the next one, I mean. Yeah. Robbie going for that post neck again. A great pick up. And that, oh. Girls <laughs> getting a bit tied up there, but Robbie. Fine form, taking the second game to give Egypt a two-love lead. The crowd are getting incredibly excited. Looking forward to this third game coming up very shortly. a stage where you want your board custom made, just for you. Investments are no different. And for that, you need a partner. Welcome back to the third game. This World Junior Women's Team Final. Where the individual world champion and birthday girl, Rowan Rita Arabi, has, uh, has really asserted herself on this match. Um, Andrea Lee's going to have to do something incredibly special to bring this back. She's just playing with absolute confidence. She's on fire, Dave. And, um, you know, like I said at the end of that last game, Andrea has just got to take a, what confidence she can out of the end of the last game. She's sort of put a few better rallies together, but it's a huge mountain to climb, as we say. Her frame of mind, you know. Yeah, I don't think she's really established her length in this game. No. At all. Uh, and Arabi, with use of that post, is, uh, is really stretching her into the yeah. front there early in rallies. That's a better rally from Andrea. Good pressure on that forehand straight. Harvey somehow ball. got it back, but uh, Lee coming in with a lovely straight for, uh, forehand uh, drop to finish it. Down. That's the trouble with the, you know she's going to be flying up behind you, you yeah. just end up going too delicate. Yep. It's been a little better from Andrew at the start of this game. 
It is. She's hit a little bit better length and she took a couple of opportunities on. Well, the rallies look like they've got some purpose, Dave, you know. She's, uh, she's starting to really get into her workload now, but... Uh, Yeah, and, and make uh, Arabi work for the points much better. Three, I think two. sometimes as well, uh, the first two are quite easy. It's quite hard to maintain, isn't it? Yeah, it's yep. easy to be a little bit more complacent or start looking for quicker, easier points. But Oh, oh that's lovely. Uh, that is skill uh, at its best. Really late change of direction on that. Cut it, perfect angle as well. He's going to say, you've got to go and get that. Winning shot. Winning shot. Play on. So Lee needs to just get a focus back. Still in touch here at 3-4. She yep. played uh, significantly better at the start of this uh, third game. Finding a length the better. Clever, Dave. Yeah. She just held her there, letting her think that the drop was coming. Yep. And then just pushed the trickle around. Three. Just understanding where your opponent is, eh? Yes. Just uh, great. It's a nice straight drop. Keeps Andrea Lee in touch in their third game. And out. Four, five. He's next three or four points. Uh, possibly you know, the critical moments. Oh. oh. Again. I'll be showing why she's world champion. And out. Six, four. Stira there from Arabi. Yeah, she sensed it. Uh, it's getting towards the, the winning post a bit, but uh, Lee's still sticking around in this game. She's been much more solid in this third. Not sure what the Malaysian coach said, but it's uh, definitely helped. Oh, she's going to appeal that one. Ball's not up. So the referee's calling that one uh, not up. Seven, take. six. Andrea Lee to a one point lead now. First time she's been ahead in any game. Yes. Well. You see a little bit of a fist pump from Andrea there. Yep. Starting to get herself fired up in this match. Eight, six. And, uh, you can now hear the Malaysian crowd that was uh, a little quieter earlier on uh, <laughs> getting uh, very excited. And that was one she definitely didn't need. No, quick, cheap one. Yes. And out. Seven. Great defence from Arabi there. 
Missed the height, brought the ball around beautifully. Lovely. Yeah, just a dangerous thing to do. Two boats in a row. One of those unnecessarily. That was just a great understanding from Arabi. I mean, she knew Eight, that uh, Andrea four. was going to charge straight forward. She had to. And yeah. that uh, change of direction at the last split second was fantastic. Out. Oh, a little bit tense there, though, Dave. And out. Nine, eight. So Ravi gets herself back in the game. She's two points away. Still level at nine all though. Just uh, not ready to go there. Crowd getting a little bit uh, <laughs> excited, <laughs> as they should be. You can see uh, the tension in Andrea Lee there. That ball just stepping back out to the middle of the court gives Andrea Lee game ball to keep Malaysia in this uh, women's world team final. Oh, and uh, she's done it. A fantastic comeback in the third game by Malaysia's Andrea Lee to uh, take the third game and uh, take us into an exciting fourth. Join us soon. to a stage where you want your board custom made, just for you. Investments are no different. And for that, you need a partner. Welcome back, everybody. Just uh, trying to get my breath back after the uh, 15 seconds. last game there where Andrea Lee, after losing the first two games, 11-4, 11-1, somehow turning around that third game to uh, take it 11-9 and keep the laser in the tie. So I'm not sure what uh, Andrew Cross said to her in between there coaching staff uh, said in between that uh, game but I'll be keen to find out after this match yeah, uh, I'll be talking to um, Rusty myself actually yeah that uh, definitely worked Egypt lead two games to one but as we know uh, Harabi uh, won't take that lying down okay Dave here we go game on Oh, 
Yeah, that's a lovely drop. And good pressure down that forehand wall. Yep. That's great length. So Andrea has really just got to um, continue on as much as possible from that last game, and uh, you know, Arabi's got to, uh, well, she's got to settle back into things. She loosened up in that last game and gave Andrea some openings, which she took well. Yeah, and a couple of more uncharacteristic mistakes. That's right. There's one there too. Handouts. One, two. Oh, that's a nice shot. That had some cut on it, didn't it? It did. Really took the pace off that well. Oh, double hit there. Yeah, looking to push the boast around and Three, just caught two. it on the way through. Fantastic leg from Andrea Lee. Wow, this is turning around, Dave. She's Five, raced out two. to a three point lead. Somebody called out there, Dave. Dave, here we go. Oh, no, that's enough, mate. Referee's decision. Yes, lad. Yes, so, yeah, look, I have to agree. Somebody did yell out, Me not too. up there. Uh, quiet during the rally, thank you. Unless I'm mistaken, but I think that's what it was. Five, what do you think, two. Dave? Yeah, I. I uh, if uh, somebody's called not up in the rally and causes the player to stop, um, yep. as the referees ask the crowd to uh, uh, please not uh, shout out during the rallies. And out. Three, so five. Both players need to uh, stay very focused on the task that there is at hand. Tensions <laughs> building in this oh, arena here. <laughs> that is big time. The Egyptian coach there jumped up in between as well. No let. So, yeah, well. So possibly a little bit harsh there, Robbie. Yeah, I'd sort of say not a little bit, Dave. <laughs> I'd say a lot. Oh, that's There's a, a fantastic shot. shot. I think we saw in the f first couple of games, Ravi was deadly dangerous in those positions. She was. Five but she's all. come back from a three-point deficit to five all. He's wanting them to, uh, to play go through ball. and play those. Great pickup from Arabi, but. Oh. 
Puts the top of the 10. There's Andrea Lee to tie it up at six all. And the ball on the glass court Seven, just six. tapping out. You gotta move. You gotta move. <laughs> oh, that's a great post. It's yeah. a delayed one, isn't it? <laughs> Late. Yes, we saw those in the uh, earlier games. Not so much in the the last two, but she's pulled one out when she needs it. Yep. Lee needs this next point badly. Oh. Perfect length though from Arabi. Yeah. Takes her into the three-point lead. Nine six. Players playing through. Oh. Well uh, done. Well that's done. a great exchange. Great change of direction there from and Lee. Seven, nine. Fantastic shot. Brings up match ball. To set up Arabi with match ball for Ten Egypt. Seven. Match ball. Yes, let. So that being seven. played. Match ball. See the Egyptian crowd. Are Quiet at the moment, but uh, may change if Arabi can take this match ball. Yes, let. Mm. Ten seven. Match ball. So playing a let. Arabi still in the driving seat. For Egypt to become world champions. Down. And there it there is. It is. Yep. Egypt are the world champions for 2017. Beating Malaysia. Two love in this tie with fantastic performances from Hania Al Hamami. And individual world champion, Roa Rida Arabi, clinching the title. And what has been a fantastic event here in Taranga for the Egyptians. You can see the Egyptian crowd uh, over the moon. Their support here has been unbelievable over the course of the week. And uh, we look forward to uh, lots of celebrations here uh, in town from uh, the team and the group. Congratulations to That's Egypt. Right. So thank you everybody for watching on the live stream Ladies over the last 10 days and thank you again to all our sponsors and our volunteers and people that have helped. Minutes, please uh, thank you. My name's Dave Clark and with me has been Robbie Wyatt. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you again hopefully in the future. Good night.